welcome back to this is Daisy my baby kitties I had an audition and you know I am so lucky to get into that room and I said it and I was like you know thinking like Muhammad Ali like how he was soup himself up before he goes into like a, a fight or something and you tell yourself yeah you can do this you got this you go in there and something like an apparition or something you can't explain just takes over and it's like <sighs> it didn't go the way you wanted it to go but when I'm in there you know of course you don't let them know that you don't play the victim but then you come out of there and you're like fudge <laughs> So you know, it's like they say when you come out of an audition, just forget about it, don't even think about it. But I was like, oh, like some things you think you can control. Because of that, I was like, today I just want to do things that make me feel good. <laughs> I came across this gorgeous color and when I saw it, it just made me happy. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in seeing how I put this beautiful, happy, make Daisy feel good type of look, <laughs> Then stay right there, let's jump into it, and let's have some fun. Okay, so I already went ahead and applied my foundation as well as my primer. Anything that I've ever used in my videos as far as makeup and clothing, they will always be listed in the description box, so make sure that you always check that out. And let's just proceed. So I'm going to go right into my Everything Nice Too Faced palette, and we're going to pick up this beautiful pink that's called Kindness is Free, and we're going to work that right into our crease. Okay, so now we're gonna go into that stunning color, this beautiful fuchsia pink. Pick up a smaller blending brush, concentrate right into the crease area, blur that harsh line that we have right there. We're gonna pick up some of that beautiful pink that we already laid down as the first color. You kind of just want the colors to look like they melt into each other as opposed to having like a star color and then another star color. I am going to use is a beautiful dark brown wine color and we're just going to concentrate it right into that piece. Brown right here and in combination with this one right here. I'm just going to concentrate it right at the outside and then just bring it in. Pick up your blending brush once again and then we're going to blend out that harsh line again. This has no product and you just want to make it nice and soft. So now I'm just going to highlight my eyebrow bone and I'm going to take this lighter beautiful pink that's called Paper Roses right here. Now I'm going to shimmer up my inner corner over here and I'm going to use my beautiful ColourPop I Love This Super Shock and this is just a gorgeous high shine metallic color like a champagne with undertone of pink and I'm going to put that right in my inner corner so and we're just going to dial it up a bit. <laughs> Look at that. What a difference. Okay, so now I'm going to add my winged eyeliner. This is always optional, but I'm going to take that wing all the way into the sky. I'm going to use my beautiful Tarte Tardius. Hot diggity damn, that actually came out super slick. And hot. Yeah, I'm excited. It doesn't always plan out like that. And it looks different than the other eye. Fudge! Alright, so what I'm going to do towards the inner corner is actually bring it down and give it somewhat of an Arabian feel. Just take your angled brush and just extend it a little bit. Let's go. So you just want to go down and then just kind of bring it back and it's a very small movement. And voila, I look Egyptian. And the falsies that I'm going to use, I'll show you. By Ardell, this is the Twin Pack and this is the Demi 120. Start by applying this nude yeah. pencil right in our waterline. Yeah. So right on my lash line, I'm going to go ahead and use the same colors that we had applied earlier, which is the dark brown and the wine color. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody now. Let's go. So we're going to take that same color, that beautiful violet pink color, take a nice pencil brush and just smoke it out on the bottom. And now I'm just going to go into my concealer and I'm using my LA Pro Girl Concealer in Natural. Now 
I'm going to set my under eye concealer Anastasia contour kit and I'm going to use this middle color right here and just set that thing there. Pick up this color right here, go right into the hollows in my cheek and carve those beauties out. Now I'm just warming up my face, so I'm going to use the same palette and use the warmer tones and give myself a slight sun-kissed look. <laughs> I'm going to add some blush, give myself a rosy hue, and this by Milani, and it's called Dolce Pink. Going back, it just helps give you more of a lifted look. Bling bling! <laughs> the Mary Luminizer, and I think this is just beautiful. This is what it looks like, but it's a stunning, stunning, shimmery champagne color. Mamma mia! I mean, how could you not go out and get a drink after this, right? <laughs> Now we're just going to apply our lipstick. So, what lipstick? <laughs> I am going to use Snob by MAC. I'm just going to add a little bit of gloss over it and I'm using by NYX Merengue. My make me feel good color type of makeup. <laughs> I hope you guys really like this. I hope that it made you happy because it made me temporarily happy. <laughs> Some things that happened to you during this week. Go ahead and write it down in the description box. Yeah, you know the drill. Please subscribe if you love what you're seeing. Just click this button right here. Like the video. Help me get out there. And um, yeah, until the next one. Yeah. I'm living in the now. Making, making everybody, everybody say wow.